everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And today, I am back again as we take a look at another Ghostbusters Plasma Series figure, this time, Zool herself, Dana Barrett. And this is the fifth review, the fifth figure we've been taking a look at here over the past five days. Like I said, this is the fifth one here. But uh, for the past four days before now, we took a look at Peter Bankman, we took a look at Ray Stans, Winston Zedmore, Egon Spengler. All those reviews are available right now up on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel. And tomorrow we're going to be back and we're going to take a look at Gozer the Gozerian and a Terror Dog, the build a Terror Dog figure that we've been building all week long. But if you'd like to check out that Gozer the Gozerian review early, it is available right now up on the Ghostbusters News Patreon page. We got a link to that right down below in the description. Sign up today. You get exclusive Ghostbusters content, early Ghostbusters content, and in the process, you help out Ghostbusters News. So once again, sign up to it, link down below in the description. But back to today's focus, and once again, that is Sigourney Weaver herself, Zool, better known as Dana Barrett, I mean, or Dana Barrett, better known as Zool, whoever it is. We're gonna flip out cameras right here, right quick. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the packaging, and then we're gonna tear open that box and take a look at the action figure. Now, if you've checked out any of our past videos, you know what to expect regarding the packaging here. It's made to look like a Ghostbusters flight suit. I love it. I mean, this thing is so awesome. And as I've already previously mentioned in past videos, I do love this minimalistic art on the side here featuring the main four Ghostbusters. But going back to that khaki design, I love the fact that they did a custom Dana Barrett name tag there. That looks so cool. She never suited up like in either of the first two Ghostbuster films, but who really cares? I mean, I just love that addition there. And of course, we do have the no ghost patch there on the left. Also taking a closer look at the figure inside the packaging here, you also see it does come with the build a terror dog torso piece. And now that we got Dana out of the box here, there's a few nitpicks I'm gonna get to, but overall, this is, once again, Hasbro did great on this. I feel like this is one of the best representations we've ever seen of Sigourney Weaver, of Dana Barrett, and we're gonna do a comparison later in the video that, I mean, you're gonna have no other choice but to agree with me. We're gonna get to that here in a second, but just look at that face. I mean, that does look like Sigourney Weaver. The hair is freaking perfect. I mean, that is, you know, Sigourney Weaver, 1984, just looks so good. And the face does look like Weaver from pretty much any angle you look at it. Now, shifting our focus down to the dress here, the overall sculpting looks fantastic. The color scheme looks just perfect to what we saw in Ghostbusters. Uh, the overall design work here is great. I do have a couple nitpicks that I'm about to get into, but at first glance, I mean, that is no doubt Sigourney Weaver in Ghostbusters as Dana Barrett, as Zool. But like I said, there are some nitpicks here and there. Uh, the, one of the first ones for me though is this just kind of random portion of fabric on her left arm. Um, you know, it's, it's supposed to be connected to the dress and it's not. And I understand it's kind of hard to do when it comes to action figures, considering the arms aren't connected to the torsos, but I feel like there should be a better way to do that. Also, take a look at the forearms there. Don't they seem a little thick to you? I feel like the design on the forearms connecting to the hands could be done a bit better. Comparison time now, and we've got Dana Barrett here in my hand from Diamond Select Toys, and I can't get her to stand. I have a stand, but her 80s hair and small feet, it just doesn't make it possible. But from left to right, we have got Mattel here on the left-hand side. We've got, once again, Hasbro, Diamond Select Toys on the right. And at first glance, to me, it is obvious that Hasbro's figure is the best of the best, uh, like without a doubt. Uh, what I can't get over though, is the actual color difference in suits. Like look how much redder the actual like dress is of Dana on the Hasbro figure. And also the face, like like I said, I mean, that does look like Scorny Weaver Hasbro's figure. The other two, not so much. And considering that Mattel and uh, Hasbro's figure are so similar height-wise, let's get the Diamond Select Toys figure out of here. Let's compare it Mattel versus Hasbro. And yes, I know a lot of people are thinking, you know, the Mattel one is very more of like a statue. And yes, it does come with alternate legs that you can actually make her stand, but I just, I prefer the sitting pose. So let's kind of review it on that. And taking a closer look here, being that the Mattel one is more of a statue, she does have that kind of like connecting bit of fabric from like the torso to the arm uh, that the Hasbro one doesn't have. So big points to Mattel on that. But at the end of the day, these are action figures and I love the action of the Hasbro figure and also the likeness. Mattel's doesn't look like, it doesn't look anything like Sigourney Weaver. So let's get that back there and let's just praise Hasbro's Dana Barrett figure because this looks phenomenal. Now moving on to the build a terror dog piece, we have got a torso guys. So you know what that means? 
we can actually build something today. I mean, we got four legs. We already opened up the main four Ghostbusters. Uh, so we've got, you know, four legs there. Let's, let's go ahead and do it up right quick. And let's get a general idea of how big this Terra Dog is going to be. All right, so the Terra Dog has been constructed and holy crap, let's bring in uh, Dana Barrett here to give you guys a bit of a size ratio. And I mean, this thing is huge. And also for a build, uh, a figure, I gotta say the detail, the sculpting on this thing looks top notch. I can't wait to fully construct it and be sure to check out our video tomorrow when we take a look at Gozer and we get the, you know, the Terra Dog head and we can actually fully build this build a Terra Dog figure. So that does it for our look at Dana Barrett there. Like I said, we're gonna be back tomorrow with a look at Gozer the Gozerian, but if you wanna check out that video early, as I mentioned at the top of the video, sign up to the Ghostbusters News Patreon page. We get a link to that right down below in the description for you. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube, bust that little bell notification icon, and I will see everybody right back here next time. And when I say next time, I mean tomorrow because we're taking a look once again at Gozer the Gozerian.